Taylor from ScoobyDooBeDoo.com, and um, this is part two of building a game with PHP. So you'll remember in the last video we had it set up so that you could click on a link or, or on, on an image, and it would display. Would you could you would play rock paper scissors. Um, so what I'm going to do now is this game part. Um, we're going to add our items to our database. Um, so when you you log in, and then it can log your scores. Um, so I have my database set up, and this is what it looks like. It has an ID, and it's an integer, and it's auto increment. Um, then we have a username. It's a var here of 255 characters, and then we have win. Um, that's an enum, enum, enum. I don't know how you pronounce that exactly, but it has three options: yes, no, or tie. Um, and so if I browse my da table, blech, you can see that. The way I've said that, I just played it a few times after I set it up. I didn't input this manually. I actually played the game to input this into our database, my database. So basically, you know, put in my ID, username, and did I win, yes or no, or was it a tie? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty it, and that means that way we'll start over. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is connect to my database. So... Um, I guess I'll do that in our game.php. So at the very top, I'm just going to um, uh, not, we're going to create a variable called connection that's equal to MySQL connect. And here you'll just enter your server information. So mine's localhost, my username's root, I don't have a password, um, or my or I'll die, MySQL error. So if I didn't log in. Or if that was incorrect, it won't log me in. It just stops and displays an error. And then MySQL select database. Um, I'm selecting my database games and linking my connection variable to do that. So um, I guess I'll add my my next or die statement to that. So okay. So I'll reload the page. I didn't get an error. Great. So therefore, I can keep going. So. The first thing I need to do is I'm going to store, or yeah, store whether the user is logged in or not with a variable called connect. What am I? I'm, a, I'm an imbecile. What I'm going to do is log whether the user is logged in or not with a session. Okay, so here I'm just going to write an if. Actually, I need to start my session, so I'll just come to the top of this page and write PHP. Um, session start. So um, I'm going to take out this entire game div and um, write PHP. If is set session UID, no, 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 no username is equal to false. Um, and here I'm going to have an else and in my if. So else, then we're just going to display our game like normal. Um, so right now, when I reload this page, you can see we, we can't play. Um, so to fix that, I'm just going to add, add an h3. Um, please, what did I write the first time, I wonder? Because I'm just going to take that. Please supply username to play. Simple enough. OK. So. Um, We'll put that in there. So um, there you go. So please supply username to play. And below that, I'm just going to add a form. So I'll just go back over here and take my form. So I actually put that inside the form. Um, I'm sorry I'm not typing that out. I know I, I know you just love to watch me type, and you're kind of disappointed that I'm not typing everything out. Um, but I don't. Ooh, I don't need to type right now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and look at that, and you can see I can import a username. So what I want to do is I'm not actually going to handle this login type thing right now. I'm actually going to handle that um, in my game. So game.php is going to get really um, scattered right now, um, and that's kind of normal because, um, no, it's not normal. It's really bad if you do that, but... Um, there are so many things going on here, and it's such a, it's just a game, and 
it's a tutorial as well, so I'm not actually putting this on my website. I don't think. I might change my mind later on, so don't hold me to that. So if um, we have a set post um, submit, and that's equal to true, and I'm pretty sure that I did name that, yeah. Okay, so here we're just, the user has submitted that form. He's trying to log in. So let's just store the, we'll just um, hold a variable. So uh, username is equal to, um, we're going to trim this. We're also going to escape this to go into a table or my our database. So my school real escape string. And um, we're going to strip tags. And we're also going to strip slashes for our post username. And that's a lot of uh, brackets or what is that? A parentheses tag, I guess. Um, but basically, now that, that cleans it up. So it trims white space. Um, it takes it to go into a database. It strips HTML tags and it strips slashes. So if you add um, like like um, Baylor's tutorial and uh, Baylor's tutorial. So then it won't just add a backslash there. It'll strip it. So um, the next thing that we need to do is I set our session. So session username is going to be equal to username. And last, uh, what I'm going to do is, I guess, yeah, store our sessions. And then redirect the user. You don't have to do this because if I go ahead and do that for you right now, so Baylor, you can see that it Law, it just looks the same. But if I try to reload the page, um, you get that submit the form again thing, and I don't like that. So quickly, I'm just going to write session destroy. And what's wrong? Destroy. Okay, so I can go ahead and clear my session. There we go. Um, and then I'm just going to redirect the user. So if they try to reload their page, they don't get that. Do you want to resend the form? Okay, so when I log back in again as Baylor and I reload the page, I can reload the page without messing anything up. So down here, I'm just going to put back, put my uh, another H3 tag here. Welcome back. That's going to be equal to uh, session username. Um, and then we'll have, how's my CSS look? Is it just a straight span A? I don't know why I did that, but I did it. So span link logout equals true. finish h3 so if I go ahead and look at this again you can see it says welcome back Baylor log out um, yeah so that's that's it so it's not working correctly is it supposed to add an underline h3 span a I'm still trying to figure out why I put a span there I really don't even Anyways, so um, it's still not working, but I don't really care because it's not a big deal. There we go. Okay, so what, we go what we're going to do now is um, I guess I'll just run this log out. This is not very hard. I'm just going to go into game. Um, right under our this part, um, if is set get log out, that's equal to true. Then um, session destroy and redirect our user. Okay, so when I uh, 
click this log out, you can see it redirected me and logged me out. Um, that's all we needed to do. So I'll log back in for myself. So what we're going to do now is if I click this, you can see welcome back Baylor. Baylor won, um, and I won. Oh, I won. Cool. Um, so what I want to do now is whenever the user plays, I need to, I want to store that. So it's actually going to be very easy. Wrong function. Game. So when the, the user right here, after this go back, what I want to do is um, find out if the user won or lost. Very easy. So after this echo, I'm just going to create a variable um, output. Um, what happened kind of thing or outcome I guess and that equals win and the reason I have I'm putting win there is not because he won but not only because he won but mainly because I did it wrong I need that to be equal to yes he did win so the next thing I did not win so no and this is a tie, so outcome equals a tie. So now we have our outcome, we have everything set up. Let's go ahead and insert that to our database. So you remember this database is blank, nothing's there. So what I want to do is SQL equals insert into um, rock, paper, scissors, um, values and the first one's an ID so that's null um, the second one is the username so this is equal to session username and the last one is equal to outcome so we'll go ahead and run that so my SQL query SQL or die mysql error and then what we'll do is just that's it so that just stores it so if I go ahead and uh, play this game so rock and I won if I go and check this database you can see Baylor won um, so if I go back again and I play scissors I won again cool that's really good because now I have two wins zero losses um, paper, I won again. I am rock, I lost. Okay, so now um, you can see that it says Baylor. He's played four times and he's won once. Four times and lost once. So um, in the next part of this video, we'll, we'll go ahead and do the thing where you can log all the scores for all the different users and find out how many, how many times. What did I do whenever I did that? I don't remember. Did I score when he. Played? No, it's it'll show username, wins, lost, and ties. And you can see that's actually my score because um, it runs off the same database table. So thanks for watching this video and look forward to part three whenever we create this little widget type thing that shows wins and lost losses and ties.